All right, hello again. Welcome to the UVN Network. We're at East Main Street Comics in Springfield, Ohio, and I'm with Scott Riley, the owner of East Main Street Comics. And uh, Scott, uh, I got to tell you, I'm I'm still amazed at the fact that we got the first what the first comic place in Springfield. What 20 years? Uh, it's only been about 12 years, I think. The only 12? It was the first con in 20 years. Oh, I'm sorry. First comic store in 12 years. First convention 20 years. So, Scott, tell me something. I mean, off the rip, why open a store here? Because nobody had a comic shop last in this town in the last decade, obviously. Uh, last year, I saw the Urbana comic shop was going out of business, and I just figured I could do it better, I guess. Um, you know, we've been open for a little over eight months now. It's been a blast, man. Uh, the time flies because I love my job. Open a comic shop. You will love your job. <laughs> well... So, so far, how do you think the, the, the overall reception has been? Uh, everybody who comes in, man, loves it. Uh, uh, we haven't lost many customers since we've been open, although some other comic shops have lost customers to us. It's not something that we're setting out to do, but we are a lot closer to several of the people in the town who've been driving 20, 30 minutes to get their books. And, uh, you know, we, we provide a service that you couldn't get in town in the last 12 years. <laughs> Anyhow, we just come off big convention, first convention in Springfield in 20 years, Champion City. Um, I got to ask, what's what's to look forward to in the next convention? Um, more of the same, only better. Hopefully, uh, it, it's going to be kind of hard to top, man. The first one was so fun and so not, it wasn't like a blowout success I'm not ready to retire or anything like that but it was a success in the sense that everybody there had a good time uh, all the the typical convention goers said they never would have known it was the first convention if we hadn't been touting the fact all day long we look forward for more of the same um, more guests more vendors we're gonna squeeze everything we can into that little area well it's not exactly a little area the uh, the Wittenberg Shovelin Center was actually the perfect venue for the con and we're gonna keep it there for as long as possible um, until we outgrow it to the point where we can't fit absolutely anything else in there the price is right and it was a blast man Wittenberg was very helpful Matt Smith uh, Brandy Bates Kathy I'm sorry, Kathy, I don't remember your last name. You guys were great, though, and we look forward to seeing you again there next year. So i got to ask you, as, as a relatively new comic shop owner, where do you see comics in five years from now? Um, I see a lot of digital on the Internet, um, and the comic books and the movies that, they're, that are coming from the comic books, uh, I'm hoping that it's going to bring a really heavy resurgence into actually checking out the printed books. Uh, there are so many Wolverine and Spider-Man and X-Men fans out there that have never actually even opened a comic book. They're only familiar with the movies or the video games, so uh, that's why we kind of branched out here. We've got the, the comics, the video games, the movies, just a little bit of everything. So, so do you think that most owners will have to adapt in the sense of, do you see yourself also going digital? I mean, besides, besides having the, the product in the store. I'm not a big fan of digital comics because just in a sense, it, it hurts our business. But uh, it's just the way technology goes. You know, these guys can download the books without even leaving their house. So you can't argue with laziness. Um, not that everybody's lazy, but a lot of people don't like to get up and, and leave these days. You know, you got everything at your fingertips with your computer, so it's definitely going to go a lot more digital. Very good. So I can safely say that I'll be happy to see that East Main Street Comics will be here five to ten years from now. I don't see why we wouldn't, man. I do not see why we wouldn't. Very good. Well, Scott, I thank you. Thanks, Frank. And like I said, I'm... Champion City 2010. <laughs> I'm personally excited the fact that we have a comic book store back in Springfield. And uh, by all means, if you get a chance, come to East Main Street Comics if you're coming through the area. Uh, once again, um, Frank Rayner at East Main Street Comics. Thanks a lot, guys.